Welcome back to Half Moon's Picks. Week 15 is here and 14 is in the book. Last week I went 0-4. Oh my god, I hit my teaser. I told you last week I said I either hit the, the top four or I hit the teaser. One of the two. Never both. Uh, so frustrating. Atlanta, it was like, what, 21, 21 going into the fourth and then they lost it. Big, like Lowen, 21 points. And, and the Bears. They didn't even show up. Coach gone. See you later. Bye. <laughs> anyway, um, for our football pool, uh, Bridgewater Finest actually won last week, week 14, uh, 67 points. You can check out his link below. He has his own uh, YouTube channel, uh, and he's still the leader, 981 uh, points for the for the season. Hatbox still in uh, number two at 940, and Roll RMC is. 935 right behind him so good to see that i dropped this uh, spot i just did so bad last week i just couldn't there was like uh eight dogs and then five favorites i covered uh i went down i'm at 13th place at uh, 815. so there's only four games left in the season uh let it roll man uh let's see there's no more buys this week so yeah from now on no more buys uh the two helmets that i got reported that's going to be alternative helmets for this season is the uh, Minnesota Vikings with the Winter Warrior helmet. Uh, it's basically the same thing, white helmet, and the Detroit Lions, that, that midnight, that black helmet. Yeah, I'm going to buy one of those, man. Those things are so sweet. Yeah, definitely with that and the jerseys as well. So, all right, that being said, let's get on with the show. And my number one pick of the week, we got the Washington Commanders traveling to the New Orleans Saints. Washington Commanders are a seven point road favorite. Eight five Washington uh, won last week and off a bye, a one two weeks ago and off, off a bye. Uh, uh, both teams still in the hunt, believe it or not, but uh, the New Orleans Saints lost Derek Carr as a uh, left uh, hand. He said it might be a game decision, don't know. Uh, Tyson Hill's still out. Uh, but uh, they just assigned uh, Dallas uh, backup quarterback uh, Ben Nucci. I'm not too familiar with him. I think he only played a couple of games. Uh, unsure, but that can't be too good. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, New Orleans, like I said, five and eight did win last week, barely, um, and uh, yeah, seven points, no quarterback. I remember they went on that losing streak uh, earlier this season with uh, no quarterback, so. Here it should be a no-brainer, so give me the Washington Commanders, minus seven. My number two pick of the week, we got the Cincinnati Bengals traveling to Tennessee Titans. Cincinnati Bengals are a five-point road favorite. Uh, five and eight Cincinnati Bengals won last week and are on a short week. Um, and they are six and one ATS on the road, but they're on back-to-back -back road games. So the pretty good road covering uh, team the uh, three and ten Tennessee Titans I think Tennessee Titans are just so bad all they do is run it uh, they are uh, lost their last two games lost last week uh, to uh, they are two and eleven ATS and one and five ATS at home so uh, Cincinnati has the number one ranked offense they just picked up over the uh, Ravens so give me the Cincinnati Bengals minus five My number three pick of the week, we got the Indianapolis Colts traveling to the Denver Broncos. Denver Broncos are a three and a half point home favorite. Indianapolis Colts off a bye and lost uh, and won two weeks ago. Indianapolis wants that last playoff spot, and the, but they have to go into Denver to get it. Uh, both teams are in the playoff hunt. Uh, Denver's on a three game win streak. Uh, one uh, two weeks ago and on a bye, so both of them were off a bye and both of them are for a win. Uh, but the Broncos, number one team in uh, ATS wise, 10 and 3, 4 and 0 at home. Uh, they look phenomenal, and I can't believe, you know, uh, they look that good. Uh, Bo Nix, oh my goodness. Uh, Indianapolis Colts, 26th in offense versus the Denver Broncos, number two in defense. So give me the Denver Broncos, minus five and a half. 
And my number four game of the week, we got the Green Bay Packers traveling the Seattle Seahawks. Seattle Seahawks are a three-point home dog. Uh, Green Bay lost last week. Thursday, I was at that game on um, back-to-back road games. Uh, there might be a chance of rain on this game. Uh, Seattle's on a four-game win streak. Uh, Seattle's ranked third in offense. And Green Bay, one and two ATS on the road this season as a favorite. So give me the Seattle Seahawks plus three. All right, that's uh, my four favorites. Hopefully they cash this week. I, I had two great weeks and just last week is just bad. So uh, my three team teaser, uh, I do 50% or so on the three team teaser. So I got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers plus nine, uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers plus 10 and a half, and the Dallas Cowboys plus eight and a half. Love these games. I think they'll be close uh, and just give me those points, boy. Uh, so yeah, let's start for the uh, Thursday Night Football. This was going to be on my top four, but decided not to put it in there. Uh, we've got the Los Angeles Rams uh, uh, traveling to the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, both teams off a win. Uh, Rams are on a two-game win streak. Uh, Brock Purdy uh, got a little shaken up last week, but he'll probably play. Uh, San Francisco's 4-1 in the last uh, uh, five games uh, versus uh, the Rams at home. Uh, but Last year they did lose 21 to 20. Uh, San Francisco, uh, this is their depleted part. They're depleted uh, two running backs out. I think they're going to have a fourth string playing now this week. Not looking good. Divisional battle. Uh, I like the Rams on this. So. Uh, next we got the Kansas City Chiefs traveling to the Cleveland Browns. Uh, Chiefs on a three game win streak. They're favored by four. 0 and 7 ATS in the last seven. Man, they just pretty much bet anybody. Uh, Cleveland Browns uh, lost their last two games uh, and are eliminated from the playoffs and are 4-9 and nine ats wise So, you know, if they were playing anybody but the Browns, you know, I, I would I'd pick them, but hard to say. Will the Browns show up? I don't know. Uh, Cleveland is 2-4 and four at home. Uh, Browns could uh, try to play spoiler in this game, so will they? I don't know. It's probably their Super Bowl, so watch out for that one. Uh, next, we got the Miami Dolphins traveling to the uh, Houston Texans. Houston Texans is three-point home favorite, uh, and they're off a bye. Uh, Miami, both teams off a win. This is a, uh, a hard game to pick. I don't have too much stats on this. This is one of those games that they're so even. Uh, Miami six and seven, and the Houston Texans eight and five. So, this game I stay away from. Uh, next, we got the Baltimore Ravens traveling to the New York Giants. Uh, Baltimore Ravens are a 15-point road favorite. Unbelievable. They didn't cast last time. They lost outright. It was the Eagles their favorite. Uh, Baltimore Ravens off a loss uh, and off a bye as well. Uh, Baltimore rank, Ravens are now ranked uh, fifth place offense and number two against the run. But the New York Giants, 2-11. and 11. Most, They're probably the worst team in the NFL. Uh, they're off a loss. Lost eight games straight. Uh, they are definitely eliminated from playoffs. Four and nine ATS, uh, and 0 and seven at home. Uh, Justin Tucker has missed uh, 10 field goals this season. He's usually top spot on kicker, but not this season. All right. Uh, next, we got the uh, New York Jets traveling to the Jaguars, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, the, both these two teams are so bad. Uh, Jets uh, lost the last four games and are on back-to-back -back road games. Uh, Jaguars did win uh, last week, uh, but they are still eliminated from the playoffs. And the Jets are favored three and a half points. I don't know, Jags without their starting quarterback. Uh, Jets have uh, uh, two interceptions all year round. So they need to pick off Mac Jones if they plan on uh, winning this game. Three and a half points, uh, you know, winner probably wins by a field goal, I don't know. Uh, next we got the Dallas Cowboys traveling to the Carolina Panthers, the Cowboys are on a short week. Uh, they lost last week and they're four and nine ATS. Uh, Carolina, three and 10, lost last week, uh, lost their last three games, uh, and a favorite by two and a half points somehow. Uh, first time Carolina favorited all year um, and are one and five at home. So Dallas is the number one public bet right now. So take it as you wish. Uh, next we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers traveling to the LA Chargers. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, um, yeah, a three-point uh, road dog. Uh, Chargers eight and five, Bucks 
seven and six. Uh, Tampa Bay's off a three-game win streak uh, and uh, off a win, and the Chargers lost last week to Kansas City barely. So it's, this should be another close game. So I stay away from that one. Uh, next, we got the New England Patriots traveling to the New e uh, Arizona Cardinals. The Arizona Cardinals are five and a half point home favorites. Uh, both teams are off a loss. Both teams have lost their last three games, and New England's off, uh, you know, um, off a bye and is eliminated from the playoff. Three and ten team versus a six and seven team. You know, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like either of those teams. So uh, next we got the Buffalo Bills traveling to the Detroit Lions. Buffalo Bills, uh, Detroit Lions, one and a half point home favorite. Uh, the Buffalo Bills uh, won uh, last two times in Detroit. And last time they played, um, uh, both starting quarterbacks played this time. Uh, they won 28 to 25. I think that was a Thanksgiving Day game. Uh, game. Uh, Detroit uh, ranked number four in offense. So Stafford blew up uh, Buffalo's defense last week. Uh, and the Lions defense is highly injured. But they're solely, you know, just milking the clock and doing a great job on offense. Uh, it's like, I like the over in this game uh, because I can't see either of these teams not making 27 points or more. So I think it might have gone up uh, 54 and a half, so be careful. Uh, but yeah, I like the over. Uh, next, we got the Pittsburgh Steelers traveling to the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, both these teams look great. Uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, 10 and 3, Eagles 11 and 2. Pittsburgh won their last three games. Philadelphia won their last nine games. But Pittsburgh is uh, 10 and 3 ATS. Uh, but Philadelphia is the number one uh, offense in the, in the run column. So four and a half points to Philadelphia. This is the Pittsburgh's the number two public bet. All right, and two more games. We got the Sunday night football. We got Chicago Bears traveling to the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, Minnesota Vikings are a seven point home favorite. This is a divisional matchup. Chicago off a loss. They got down, beat down bad by the San Francisco 49ers. They're keeping every division. They're just poorly coached. This team's just so badly coached recently. So uh, Chicago won the last four out of six games in Minnesota. So they usually play, play them pretty tough. Uh, Chicago's uh, four and three on the road this season and winless at home. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Uh, their uh, running, uh, their quarterback, the Bears quarterback, uh, Khalid Williams, uh, was sacked 56 times this season so far. So their offensive line is not holding up. All right, and last but not least, we got the Monday Night Football game. We got the Atlanta Falcons traveling to the Las Vegas Raiders. Atlanta's on back-to-back -back road games, and both teams have lost last week. Um, Atlanta's on a four-game losing streak, and uh, but they're ranked number two offense. This is what gets me. Atlanta Falcons ranked number two offense. I liked them last week. Um, and Kirk Cousins, zero TDs for eight interceptions in the last four games. I don't know. But Las Vegas is one and four at home this season. And the Monday night game, snooze fast. So I don't know what to pick on this. So yeah, that being said, uh, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the links below. Uh, a lot of prognosticators in there. Uh, check out their channels and uh, I will see you next week. Peace.